a bombshell from Pfizer just dropped. My theory on this Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson relationship, and I'll answer your random questions with pop quiz, plus a surprise announcement at the very end of this episode. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Poplitics. The FDA wants to hide the Pfizer vaccine data for 55 years. No, I will get wrinkly like you, ew. They said they can release 500 pages a month for the next 659 months. Yeah, you know what? That just makes me want to see the data right now. Can you believe the absolute power that this one pharmaceutical company has over the entire world and even governments? It is so shocking until you realize who one of the three biggest shareholders of Pfizer is. As Jack Posobiec would say, are you paying attention yet? Or as Alex Clark would say, have you listened to the spillover yet? Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson are official official, like holding hands in public official. <laughs> Here's my theory. Number one, Kim has always been the top Kardashian sister, the most popular, everything. I think she is insanely jealous that Courtney and Travis are getting all this attention as Hollywood's new it couple. So she needed to find her own skinny, pale, gas station clerk looking boy toy to parade around to the media. That's the first thing. It doesn't get any better than this, Beavis. <sighs> yep. The second thing is, do you realize how bad the PR is for Kylie and Travis Scott right now? He is facing like an $800 million lawsuit from people who went to his demon concert. Kylie and Travis were supposed to be on the cover of several magazines coming up and the magazines are considering pulling them. I've also heard that Kylie planned to release a surprise holiday makeup collection and now is unsure if she should do that or not. It's bad in the PR department right now. So Mama Chris had to come up with a distraction for the media to report on instead of Kylie and Travis. And Kim was more than happy to fall on a new publicity sword. So, voila, Keat was born. Keat! You just blew my mind. Don't forget to send me questions to answer every week. Just use the link in our bio on the Politics Instagram for pop quiz. Maddie from Wisconsin wants to know, if I could red pill one celebrity, who would it be and why? I've thought long and hard about this and I usually answer this question by saying Taylor Swift because Taylor Swift is my favorite star and obviously it would be so amazing if she was conservative because I love her so much. But I actually think it would have more impact if someone like Hailey Bieber, Baldwin, or Kylie Jenner became conservative because they really have culture by the throat right now. Like if they say jump, people say how high, you know? So that would be the most important red pill, I think. Software. Annie from Rhode Island wants to know my favorite stores for online shopping. I get asked this question, I think, every single day of my life. I love Revolve. I love Shop 12 Tribe right now, I think is what it's called. And um, I also really love The Real Real, which is how I have gotten pretty much all of my designer items are gently used from The Real Real and they're authenticated. So they're The Real Real Deal deal. That's so fabulous. You're like Bella Swan from Twilight and I'm like, her weird friend who doesn't understand how fabulous her life is because my boyfriend won't spend $4 on tacos. Anthony from Albuquerque wants to know if a world-class chef prepared it, would I eat human? All right, I'm about to ruffle some feathers here. Yes, I would. I actually would. And look, I'm not some, you know, QAnon, like I'm not one of those Hollywood pedophiles that eats babies or whatever some, some people like to say. I'm just saying I'm curious if human meat would taste good. Like I like I don't want it to be someone I know. They've got to be willing, like they've got to give their body to science. You know what I mean? Like somebody, whoever's dying to give the, the meat, they've got to be okay with it. But yes, if it's seasoned right, prepared right, I would bite into a human burger. I'm curious. But no, I will never try a salad. The town decided to send a human sacrifice and I volunteered. My arms are a little stringy, but there's some good eating in my legs. Jolene from Indiana wants to know, how do I pick my guests for the spillover? I love the randomness of it and that you're able to cover all kinds of topics. This is honestly one of my favorite things that I'm doing right now is finding the guests for the spillover. And one thing that I do with my team is I brainstorm and I say, okay, think of any subject that you'd want to know more about, just anything. And uh, we'll come up with something, you know, wh what's something random? Crime scene cleaner. 
Crime scene cleaner, okay, here, I'll spoil this. I am dying to talk to somebody who professionally cleans crime scenes for a living, like brain splatter and stuff. You have to clean that stuff up, it's disgusting. I wanna know about it. And uh, so we, we come up with something like that and then we just spend hours perusing the interwebs trying to find somebody who does that for a living, who has done interviews before that might be good. And that's how it goes. Also, I'm looking on Instagram Explore page. I've come across a few guests that way, like Medley, another girl that's coming up in a few weeks that you're gonna be excited about. So you never know, I could come across your story. Me! I have bad news and good news. The bad news is this is the last oh. politics episode this week because of Thanksgiving. The good news is, I know we literally just got an episode of The Spillover on Friday with former New Ager and psychic Doreen Virtue, but tomorrow you are getting this week's episode of The Spillover over early. <laughs> I wanted to surprise you with it several days earlier than normal so that you have it to listen to while you're traveling for Thanksgiving. Am I not the kindest, sweetest, most beautiful, amazing, perfect person you've ever met? This will release Tuesday night, midnight Eastern and 9 p.m. Pacific. You will have to find out tomorrow night though at 9 p.m. Eastern who the guest will be. Hint. Oxygen recently did an entire movie documentary about her. Search for The Spillover on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, hit subscribe or follow or whatever the button is so that you automatically get the episodes downloaded to your phone. This year, I am so thankful for all of you this Thanksgiving. I get to do what I love every day because of you and your support this year has been amazing. Anytime that you heart, comment, share and save an episode, our show grows a little bit more. So don't forget to do that right now. That's also job security for me so they know you're watching and liking and I can keep doing Doing this. We're back with a new politics episode Tuesday, November 30th, but you will have those two brand new episodes of The Spillover to hold you over until then. 11 episodes now, lots to binge. Your Monday life advice is gonna be Thanksgiving dinner related. Here we go. Mix your corn into your mashed potatoes and gravy. You're welcome, thank me later. It's pop culture without the propaganda every single day. I'm Alex Clark and this is Politics. Have a happy Thanksgiving! Support Politics, the first ever conservative pop culture daily show by subscribing to our channel, turning on notifications, and of course, hitting the thumbs up. Also, our main home is on Instagram. Seriously, just trust me, that's when the real magic happens. Follow us there at Politics.